feathers in the turkey, we should pull out of the wings. Where you want the turkey oriented. Here. I'll never forget my first Thanksgiving in Miami. The weather was 85 degrees and the wintry woods of New England gave way to sandy beaches and palm trees. The turkey was different too, spiced with a garlic cumin marinade called adobo and served with a sour orange sauce called mojo. The project fire twist, we blast the bird with wood smoke. I'm using a 12-pound heritage black turkey. You can see it has these black speckles. It looks very different than a supermarket turkey. And the first step here, it's a little weird, but you want to loosen the skin from the bird. So you're going to put the marinade under the skin. So you reach in first with a couple of fingers, and then you're gently worming your fingers under the skin, between the skin and the breast meat. You got to be very careful not to tear the skin. I'm a big fan of heirloom turkey and chicken varieties. They recall a time when animals were bred for flavor and not for size or quick growth. Once you've loosened the skin from the breast, then you can just come along on the side and loosen the skin around the thigh. and you can even come around to the drumstick. This will feel very weird the first time you try it, but it becomes easy with practice. Okay, so once the skin is loosened, then stand the turkey up in a large bowl. This will make it easier to add the marinade. I'm just gonna wash my hands So now that adobo marinade. It starts with fresh garlic and chopped fresh cilantro, coarse salt, freshly ground black pepper, ground cumin, and dried oregano. Pound these ingredients to a paste in a mortar and pestle. The traditional tool for pounding the garlic is a mortar and pestle, not a food processor. You actually get a different flavor when you pound the garlic than when you chop it in a food processor. Once the garlic and spices are pounded to a paste, here's another typical South Floridian Spanish Caribbean ingredient. This is called naranja agria sour orange. And I'll cut it in half and squeeze the juice into the mortar and pestle through my fingers to catch the seeds. The flavor of the naranja agria is kind of a cross between a lime and an orange. If you can't find this fruit, use two parts lime juice and one part fresh orange juice. Mix the sour orange juice with the spices, and then add more sour orange juice to create a marinade called adobo. It looks right, I'll take a taste. Mmm, cuminy, garlicky, tart, salty. This is a quintessential Miami spice. So next, take a spoon, and spoon some of the adobo into the turkey between the skin and the meat. Adobo has a very interesting history. Adobar simply means to season or to marinate, and the word comes from a medieval Spanish legal term meaning to ennoble, as though I dub thee adobar, I dub thee Sir Lancelot. You find adobo throughout the Spanish Caribbean and even as far away as the Philippines. You can see how standing the bird up in a bowl helps hold it upright while you add the adobo. Then take the bird out of the bowl, 
pour the adobo on top. Now, tuck the wingtips under the breast, first on one side, then on the other side. Tie the drumsticks together to truss the bird. I'm gonna come under, loop around once here, loop around once here, pull these strings together, one, two, a double knot, pull it tight, then we'll loop over and under. And just cut off the string. Your last step is to spoon the remaining adobo over the outside of the bird. Marinate the turkey in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. The salt in the adobo will actually act like a brine. To cook the turkey, I'm using a pellet grill. It combines the virtues of an outdoor oven and a smoker. You load the hopper with these hardwood pellets. I'm using a mixture of hickory and oak. Then lower the lid, fasten it closed, and adjust the temperature to 350 degrees. And here's the turkey. It's marinated for 24 hours. You can smell the garlic from here. Open the pellet grill, put on grill gloves, transfer the turkey to the smoke chamber, Close the lid. Cooking time, three and a half to four hours. Our target internal temperature, 165 degrees. Next up, the mojo sauce. Heat a skillet over medium high heat and drizzle in extra virgin olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. When the oil is the right temperature, bubbles will dance around a piece of garlic. Now add garlic slices and chop fresh cilantro and fry just until the garlic begins to brown. Next add a little cumin, a little oregano, I like to toast the spices and the oil as well. When the garlic is golden brown, deglaze the pan with sour orange juice. Stand back, it will sputter and hiss. Great fragrance. And last, add salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Turn off the heat. Mmm, garlicky and tart. That mojo has mojo. It's the quintessential taste of Miami. Let me check on the turkey. So here's the turkey after two hours. I've been basting it with butter and I'll baste it again. The butter helps crisp the skin. Now close the lid and continue cooking the turkey until you reach 165 degrees. I'm getting hungry. Our turkey is at 165 degrees, and it looks killer. So here's your turkey adobo. I'm gonna make a lengthwise slice, and I'll just fan out these slices. The turkey is incredibly fragrant. Then I'll spoon on a little mojo. All right, in the moment of truth, take a slice. Mm. 
So the first thing you notice is this turkey really tastes like turkey. That's thanks to the Heritage Black Breed. You get a whiff of garlic, you get a whiff of cumin, the meat is moist, the citrusy flavor of the mojo. This sure takes me back to my first Thanksgiving in Miami. So now you know how we grill with Miami Spice. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.